Everybody, how you doing? Welcome to What Up Clay channel. We talk about all kinds of things, fix it, build it, maintain it, or anything that comes across my desk. I'm gonna do a quick video right now between the difference of a uh, of a less expensive uh, backup camera ha handle for a 2004 F-150, and it goes through other years as well, and the Red Wolf. Um, this one right here, I put this one in first. This is a $25 unit. It broke, as you can see here, broke off right there. So I purchased a more expensive one, the Red Wolf. So, uh, so far the difference is, yeah, you know what? I'll let you guys decide. I'll show you the differences. So here's the Red Wolf. Now, I had to modify it to make it fit right. Uh, on this tailgate, it's like a little indention that the that the handle fits in just nice and tight. However, with the uh, Red Wolf, it was too far. It was like barely off to the right a little bit. So what I had to do is I had on the inside the on the tailgate on the inside I had to grind some down to make it fit inside that groove nicely. Now, if you look at the camera, this camera here is a fisheye, which gives it a wider view. This here has a, this is the old one, has a flat lens on it. But if you notice, I don't know if you can see here, the uh, the less expensive one, the one on the right, faces down more. That's nice because you can see your hitch. Um, so when you hook up a trailer or whatever, with this one here, with the Red Wolf, although it's a fisheye, I mean, it can see wider view, but up and down, um, it sees more up because it's angled up, but I can't see the hitch. So hook up a trailer, I'm going to need assistance, but that's the difference on that part. So here's the view. Um, so with the cheaper one, it would only go up about this high, which you can still see plenty distance behind you. Uh, with this one here with the Red Wolf, you can actually see the corner of the bumpers, where the other one you couldn't see that, you couldn't see the bumpers. But uh, you can get so close to the bumper that you can practically see it came right, basically right to the uh, edge of the screen. But again, you didn't see the bumper, but you knew it was right there. What I liked more about the less expensive one is you could were you were able to see the hitch. This one here, I cannot see the hitch. So backing up, let's hook up a trailer. I'm going to need assistance doing it because, or I get in and out to, to check to see where I'm at. But yeah, if it was down uh, about another probably three inches, you will be able to see the hitch on this one. It can be fixed by shimming the, the camera to tilt down or whatever, just a smidge. But anyways, good picture. They both had a really good clean picture. I mean, I'm not taking photos with it, any of them, but just basically see what's behind me and hooking up a trailer all right so here's what I cut out I cut out this section right here um, take my hand out there so the focus is right but right down in this section right here is what I had to trim out you can see there I trimmed out probably a good uh, I don't know, close to a half inch three eighths of an inch because this part right here the handle was hitting that edge and caused the whole handle to move that direction. So, and if you're wondering how to adjust, when you first put install, when we first install it, you might find that when you lift the handle, you have to lift it really high to make it engage. Um, you can adjust these rods by simply pop open this, uh, pop open that lever right there, the plastic piece, and then the rod. It comes right out, and then you just pull it until it feels tension on it and you put it where you need to and then snap it back down it might take a couple times to get it just right so yeah so anyways there you have it all right so here's what broke them on this piece right here part of the handle um, fits on there like like this Fits on that. This is what broke. Now the Red Wolf. If you look at them, they look almost identical. I mean, the, the mold and everything looks almost identical. They have the same crisscross pattern on the inside, the same hook. I mean, that looks identical. But if you look closer, 
I don't have the Red Wolf in because obviously it's it's installed. But uh, this section right there where it's broken has a little bit more meat on it for the Red Wolf. So uh, hopefully that uh, that allows it to be strong enough to hold more more weight when you're pulling it. But uh, it's hard to see. But on mine, I actually put a a metal bar and I glued a metal bar in there because if you see if you notice here there's a groove right there right in here there's a groove I put a metal rod in there bent it up so that it fits right inside here and then I bent it so it goes down inside the hole which uh, you actually see from this side if I do it this way you can see the hole that I put it down but and then I put some uh, two-part epoxy uh, plastic uh, cement and glued it in place. So that's going to give it a little bit more sturdiness. But yeah, anyway, that's that's the difference I have on it on the Red Wolf versus the uh, less expensive one, which I think I think it was like twenty-five bucks. Red Wolf is about sixty bucks. But um, this here's the Red Wolf. Anyhow, if uh, this video was helpful, helpful for you, which I hope it is, please uh, like and subscribe this video. And if you didn't like this video and it didn't help you out, hit the like and subscribe anyway so you can make fun of all my other videos. All right, everybody, take care.